Grab your popcorn. We're gonna be here a while. They're not even that bad. They're just like not that good. I'm only showing MVP when Luka wins it or a Knicks player wins it. And you're smoking something if you thought a Knicks player was gonna make an All NBA team. They're sitting happily as the 13th seed, winning 31 games. And I see a bright future for this team. Hopefully, getting Victor Webb and Yama. That's about all they can hope for. The Knicks have two top seven picks in this draft, and one of the picks got converted, and now they have the ninth pick. Classic Knicks. They drafted Rajon Rupert. Okay, he's got C potential. Okay, and RJ Barrett got better. Mitchell Robinson got better. Some good stuff going on here. Maybe this will be the year Jalen Brunson carries them to a championship. I said I was only going to show when Luka won it. I'm keeping my promise. And the Knicks suck yet again. What's new? Winning 33 games. At least RJ Barrett's getting better every year. He's dropping 25 a game now. I drafted him in a fantasy basketball league. I hope he actually does that. Trey Young winning finals MVP. I guess we got another shot at this draft lottery. And the Knicks have the third pick. Not bad. Oh, they drafted Mikey Williams. That looks nothing like him, but that's a good pick. Oh, and they traded with the second pick and they got DJ Wagner as well. Oh, they traded Jalen Brunson. <laughs> Well, now let's see if we can win more than 30 games. I'm hoping so. Third year in a row, Luka winning it. And the Knicks have the potential to be a playoff team. Well, never mind. I don't even know why I thought they would. Oh my God, Wagner blew it for them. Oh, that, that, this is nasty. Anyway, I mean, he had a good year though. Mike Williams had a solid year. RJ Barrett doing his thing. Every day, you just got to get 1% better. That's what we're doing right now. Well, man, honestly, a little less than 1%, but we're getting somewhere. The Knicks signed John Bull, who's a 77 overall. I don't know if this is Bull Bull's brother or something, but he's got C plus potential. Mikey Williams and Wagner both went up five and six overalls. They're going crazy. This looks like a playoff team. I guess we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm not kidding. He's won it four years in a row. And the Knicks are finally a good basketball team to the fifth seed. It looks like DJ Wagner and Mikey Williams have taken over this basketball team. But we got to play the Nets in the first round. They got Ben Simmons starting at point guard. Where's Kyrie? Well, it was a hard fought seven game series, but we're going out in the first round. Wagner is now over RJ Barrett as the highest overall player on the team. And Mikey's right behind him. This team's looking like at least a top three seed. They got plenty of depth. They got great players. We should make a run. This is not a troll. He's won it five years in a row. Row. DJ Wagner made all NBA first team. Oh my God. They're only the four seed with him making first team. He dropped 26, 5, and 10. He went crazy this year. Mike Williams dropped behind him too, dropping 23 off the bench. Oh, we got to play Brooklyn again. And they got Mike Williams starting at the two now for the playoffs. They were starting Derek White in the regular season. Just got to hold on here. We're out of the first round. Wagner gonna use the screen here. Going to try to go around a fadeaway three. Got it. Tough shot. That was a tough ass shot. Now Mikey Williams with the ball. He's going to pull a fadeaway three. What the? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. wait. What is what is going on? And RJ actually led the team in scoring. DJ hit eight threes this game. Oh my god, the Knicks may be making a run right here. Now we gotta play the match that they got. Oh, they got Webb and Yama. Oh my god. Well, it was a hard fought battle, but we're going out, and so we got our asses kicked off. But again, we're getting better every single season. Pelicans with it. Okay, now Kyrie's on the Pelicans. DJ and Mikey are both over 90 overall. This is dangerous. I never thought I'd say the Knicks are a dangerous basketball team, but here we are. They got the depth, they got the star power. What don't they got? Just here to announce someone else won MVP other than Luka. The Knicks are still the fourth seed. DJ and Mikey still leading this team in charge. RJ kind of falling off a little bit, but still we got heavy star power. And we got to play the Hornets. They got LaMelo. And the Knicks lose again. I just did. This is getting bad. I think every single series they've played, it's been a seven game series and they've lost that. Well, I can't do the math, but they've lost a the plentiful. I'm not concerned about the structure of the team. Like the team is really good. The Knicks have just been cursed for like the past 50 years. And I'm just concerned. We got Mike Williams and DJ Wagner both on max deals. So they're not going anywhere. Like if you put this exact team on the Boston Celtics, they probably just win the championship this year because it's the Knicks, like they're just gonna struggle for no reason. Mikey Williams won six man of the year. That's something. And DJ's now been downgraded to third team all NBA. And so have the Knicks in general. They're now the sixth seed. Wagner and Mikey both having pretty damn good years. I mean, it's all pretty similar stuff. And especially we gotta play this Cavs team, and 2K loves the Cavs. Well, apparently not enough because we're about to get a sweep. That, that is insane. I never thought for once in this whole entire video the Knicks would sweep anybody. We gotta play the Hornets again. I don't know what this is. Let's simulate the two back to back sweeps. All right, well, now we got the Bulls. They got Bronny and DeAndre Ayton. Well, I knew two back to back. Back sweeps were too good to be true because we just got gentlemen swept. Wagner had a triple double in this game and we still lost. At least we somewhat got closer to win the championship. This year gave me some hope. DJ's now at 95. I don't think Mikey's getting any better, but still, these two alone and then some good role players should be more than enough to win a championship. Let's hope they can go ahead and do it, man. I mean, they got the sixth man of the year. They have a 92 overall coming off the bench. Well, Luca's back to win an MVP on the Heat, and this is the highest seed we've been so far. Third seed. RJ having a much better year, dropping 22 a game. Mikey Williams still dropping his classic 24. DJ giving us 26 and 11. But we gotta beat Bronny. That's gonna be tough or not we're just gonna sweep him is that what we're gonna we're just gonna after he beats us in five last year we just sweep him now and this is where we lose against luca can we just get to the finals just one time we lost in six here bro they also had cunningham who's a 95 like this team's stacked i'm slowly starting to lose hope not that it matters because i can't go anywhere julius Randle got so sick of it he retired rj's getting worse you're only 30 bro like why are you getting worse i am now going to make the executive decision to move mike williams to the two spot it makes no sense at this point for a 92 overall to be coming off the bench
again. So yeah, we're gonna run with those two guys. Luca just gonna keep getting these. DJ making first team. That's good. I thought Mikey would have made an NBA team, but we are now the second seed. That was a great move by me. And we got Philly in the first. Why do they have Ja? And we are getting out of the first round in five. Mikey dropping 36 and seven. Oh my God. DJ had 21 assists. And now we're back playing Bronny and Kyle Kuzma. And we are just barely getting out of here in seven games. Mikey is crazy in elimination games. 41 and 13. DJ dropping 36. If we can just take down Luka, we can go to the finals. We are trying to stay alive. We were down 3-0 in this series. We won game four and oh no. Oh my god. DJ going to work. He got double team. Still trying to drive to the basket. Tough shot. Got it to go. Can you please just miss the second free? Oh, is that off? Oh, he missed it. Six seconds left. Mikey can use the screen here. Mikey trying to go to work right now. Mikey's got really nothing to go. Getting double team. Drive to the basket. Misses the layup. What are you doing? I don't know what's more torture. This video or the Luca video I made before. DJ's got two years left on his contract and Mikey has one. They better both get re-signed. Like, they better let RJ go, bro. Or we could just, like, win the championship this year. That would help out a lot. Luca's now winning six man of the he just can't escape the awards. Well, at least they're in the playoffs, though. Fourth seed. Look at RJ, man. 15 a game. Like, you're ass. We got Phil in the first round. They still got Ja. And we're going to get ourselves a gentleman sweep here. Now we got to play Boston. And this team is looking pretty stacked. They're about to blow a 3-1 lead. You have, like, eight inches on him. Can you, like, try to score the ball? Or Wagner for three. Got it. Good shot. Okay, come on. Keep us alive. Come on, man. Play some defense. Oh, just let him drive right by you. Oh, my God. Wagner for three again. Bang. Oh, my. Dude, dude. He is, he is clutch. Oh my god, there's no way that goes in. There's no... Bro. DJ for three. Oh, that's off. Yeah, that's off. Oh, offensive rebound. Okay, okay, okay. We're not dead yet. I can't... Why would you shoot... What the f... Did... Am I getting trolled? They really just blew a 3-1, bro. This team's about to, like, just implode, and I'm just gonna be sad for the next decade. Okay, they re-signed Mike Williams. They... Oh, they actually re-signed RJ as well. They kept the team pretty intact. Some other depth guys are gone, though. But I'm actually scared that if they somehow can't re-sign Wagner, like, that we are in just... We're, 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 we're bad. Wagner's back on first team. That's a good sign. And that's not a good sign. Six seed. I mean, he's dropping 20. 7-11, bro. Like, can you please just carry us? We got Miami in the first round. Luka's not the sixth man anymore. And we're just barely gonna pull off the gentleman sweep. Wagner with 30. Like, just do this every single game and we should get to the finals. Come on, man. We gotta play Philly. They got Basala. I don't even... I don't, I don't know who that is. I'm sorry. But they got a pretty good team. We're gonna need a miracle here. All right, DJ. We need some crazy shots. DJ for three! Got it! Oh, I thought he missed it. The animation looked kind of like it was gonna bank off the back of it or something. He's going around the screen here. Gonna pull from mid-range. Missed it. Rebound by Bull. Go back up. Got it. Okay, two-point game. They're going to post up yet again. Just play some honest defense, and you have to get the re... Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Wider going to work. Fade away three. Oh, I thought that was going in. That actually was a good shot. I got to live with that. We are going out in seven games, man. I, it, it is looking hopeless. If they don't sign DJ Wagner back to this team, I'm going to lose my mind. Oh, he left. Okay. Yeah, this is getting easier. We are 11 seasons in. There's just There seems to be no hope. We might be a lottery team. Well, none of our players made an NBA team this year, but we're somehow in the playing tournament. We're actually kind of good. Wait, we have Zion on the team now. We have 33-year-old Zion. How do we do that? Oh, we traded RJ Barrett for Zion. We kind of Oh, wait, we traded our first round pick? I don't know about that. I'm not going to lie. I don't think that was worth it because we're not even going to be in the playoffs. Well, Zion went down three overall. So, yeah, that was a great trade by the Knicks. Oh, my God. His team is just a pile of garbage. Okay, how are we the third seed? I don't even <laughs> That makes no sense. We had to have picked somebody up. Or, okay, Zion's just playing pretty well, I guess, because we have him for a full season now. We got the Raptors. They oh, yeah, no, we're, we're not winning this. And we actually just won in seven. I, don't I have no idea what's going on. We had four players score over 20 points. Even Bull had 16 and 11. If we somehow win the championship with Wagner leaving, I'm actually going to lose my mind. Like, this is the most 2K thing that's ever happened. Are we just in the conference finals with our best player just saying, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Oh, and look at that. L look at this stupid ass fairy tale Cinderella story ass lo like what is this and we're really gonna go we're really gonna sweep DJ Wack bro this game sucked and we gotta play the thunder in the fun bro this is actually our if we actually win without our guy and we're doing this live we're going right game for game here bro okay okay all right we got we got game two. Oh, we got game three two to two right now please win this game of course not just gotta hold on here to force a game seven Zion with the oh we have a mismatch he's got a foot on him just go up thank you big body just no threes man and we're fine Knox come on Bro, you're not going nowhere. Oh my god, there's no way he makes that. Thank God. Rebound. We're going to game seven. Listen, man, I will never understand the 2K algorithm except for Luka winning MVP. I, I, I got that part, but everything else is a blur. Oh my God. We're going down in a wire. Yeah, we got to hop in. Mikey, can use the screen here. Please don't pull any fadeaway threes. We don't have to. Mikey, drive to the basket. Whoa, what the hell was that? 
Nox trying to drive to the basket. We're on that. Oh, no. Zion gonna use the screen here for Fernandez. Fernandez trying to drive. Pass it to Zion. Zion with the layup. Gets to the goal. Okay, tie game. Clark trying to drive here. Zion with the good content. Bro, come on. Mikey driving to the basket. Layup. Got no, I thought he had it. Booker, no one, no one, just, just no one contesting Booker. Mikey trying to drive to the basket. Gets the lay to go. We got a two-point game. Clark driving. Good contest from Zion. There's no... There's no way he greened that. Fernandez trying to drive. Bro, what is that shot? Bro, we're, do we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. I can't believe we got all the way here just to, just to lose. I can't even put this in the words, bro. I mean, Mikey, you played all you did, did all you could, bro. I mean, just we shouldn't even been in the finals in the first place. I blame 2K for trying to give us that Cinderella-ass story, bro. That, that was their fault. We have a 77 and a 73 starting. Zion's now an 81. We have no hope. Luka back to win in six-man awards in Utah. And Mikey Williams made first team All-NBA. That's, that's pretty good. But they didn't even make the playoffs. Okay, well, that was all for nothing. Put up some nice numbers, but they don't really mean much because we're not winning anything. We are so deep into this that Trey Young just retired. The Knicks don't even have a draft pick. Did they trade that? And Mikey's got one year left on his contract, and so does John Bull, bro. We, we are in a lot of trouble. I said I'd show Luca every time. There he is. Mikey's still winning first team. And the Knicks are somehow a respectable fourth seed. I can't tell if we made any pickups. This guy, Jaron Bradley, or you? Okay, you're new. But we got to take down. Oh, Victor, of course. I don't get how this team just casually beats 99 Victor Webb and Yama in five games. But then we have DJ Wagner for a decade. We just do nothing. Okay, this team sucks. How the hell were they the first seed? Well, apparently we suck just as much. Mikey trying to go to work here, trying to drive to the basket, gets fouled. All right. Anthony Black trying to drive around here. He's probably going to kick it out or or not. Or, or okay, or just go up with the hook and make that. Mikey Williams trying to drive right here. No, bro. What are you, what are you doing? Anthony Black with a step back mid- you like like I'm I'm getting I'm getting trolled. Mikey, bro, can you please do something, man? Fade away three. You're so ass. I hate you. Just another year of being ass, man. What's new? I guess I'm understanding how Knicks fans feel every year. Like, this is just, a, this is this is what y'all do every year. We signed back Mikey Williams. We got Sean Stewart, but just, well, we lost Bull. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're looking bad. Even if the Knicks somehow win the championship, like, I don't even know if I'm going to be happy. Like, I just, I genuinely don't know. We're so deep in that Bronny is 33 years old. Like, that, that's where we're at right now. I'm literally just going to simulate the plan, bro. Like, I'm not even going to put up with this. Like, if they, okay, yeah, all right. I'm not, I don't want to waste my time. Like, Mikey's playing good, bro. It's just, there's nobody else on this team. And I am not kidding. Like, like my brain hurts. Like, this is this is numbing. And the Knicks didn't make the playoffs again. We are just going down a sick rabbit hole. That one year was our chance. The, the, the stupid Cinderella store. That was our chance, man. And, and, and they blew it. We just need a whole fresh new team, bro. Like, there's really not much else we can do. Because this team sucks. This man, DJ Wagner's on the Spurs now. And the Knicks are in the playing tournament. I'm not even gonna, like, if, if you guys make it through, you make it through. I'm not gonna waste my time. I've already dedicated over two hours of my life watching the Knicks be bad at basketball. This man, Jabari Smith, just retired. He hasn't played a game in the NBA. Yeah, yeah. Mikey Williams just keeps getting worse. He need, we need to get off that contract, bro. He, he's killing us. We just can't keep floating around as like a ninth, 10 seed. We're not going to get any good players. Why are we making the playoffs? Like, uh, why are we trying to be relevant when we're asked? This is what I'm talking about. Like, we're wasting years where we could just be getting young players to be good, and Mike Williams just selling that. We got to play the Pacers in the first round. They got a 94 and a 96. And we're surprisingly going to beat them in five. Mikey dropping 22 and 15. Is this going to be like your, another Cinderella story? Now we got to play Boston. They also have two 90s. 2K, I'm not falling for this, bro. I'm, I'm not getting hyped for this. Because I know right when we get to this conference finals you're gonna find a way to screw us over all right now we got brooklyn this team is actually the worst team we've played so far yep there we go there it is there, yeah, this this was game seven by the way i told you there was gonna they were gonna find a way and the nets win the championship the worst team we played so far they won the championship and mikey williams retired actually i'm not gonna lie that's pretty good for us because that man was making 68 million dollars this is good though we need a fresh start like we need a really fresh start bro like we gotta just start being so ass we get some really good young players because i want to feel happy that we win the championship if mikey williams would have won that championship last year like i wouldn't even been happy how does this team win 50 games. Oh my god, this dude Everett Sims dropped 29 a game. We might actually have a shot to win the championship. We gotta play Bronny. Well, never mind. I don't know ball. This guy dropped 31 and 15. He was literally carrying us. We had no other hope. And the Nets actually won the championship. Bronny getting a ring at 37. Dude, this team is genuinely terrible. Please do not win 50 games again. Can we just lose? That guy Everett Sims made second team all NBA. And we are somehow the first. Like, I don't even feel good about this. I genuinely don't even feel good about being the first seed. This is easily the worst team we've had and we've won 54 games. Listen, bro if y'all just want to win a championship just to get me off this video then that's fine bro but i'm not gonna feel good about the ring we got detroit in the first round they're pretty good and we're actually gonna get by the first round i was thinking we were gonna get you know swept probably by the eighth seed now we gotta play the pacers who have a 96 overall and a 94 oh, we beat this team before and we're actually gonna beat them in seven this dude sims is putting the team on his back now we got the conference finals versus the wizards they're okay okay i'm really sorry it got to game seven and i accidentally hit simulate game and not simcast and they won but still i mean we're here we gotta play the Warriors. they have todd Carr, who's won like mvp 
MVP the past like three years. I just haven't shown it. But here we go. Game one, we take. Game two, they take. Game three, they take. Game four, we take. Game five, they take. We're gonna take game six in the elimination simcast. This dude sims with 31 and 7 for our with 28 and 8. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm get. I don't want to get hyped, bro. I really don't. Third quarter, they're blowing us out. Yep, they're blowing us out. Yep, they're gonna. Oh, oh, we, we're making kind of a comeback. No, no, we're not. Nope, I lied to myself. I lied to myself. I, I, I lied. To like Victor Webb and Yama has retired. He's not even in the league. Like this team's supposed to win a championship right now. I don't even know who this is, but he made third team. I just thought I announced that. Why are we the seventh seed, bro? Why are we staying semi-relevant when we're in the playoffs? Like, how is this team doing anything good? We got the Wizards. This team's not even good either. We're gonna beat them in six right here, and we are. There we go. Now we gotta play the Magic, who also suck. And we're gonna lose in seven to the Magic. I just we we we, we can't get a break. Like the league is so watered down right now. Like I'm shocked we just can't win one of these rings. Like just one of them. Look at that DJ Wagner retired. I gotta say though, I've learned a lot this video about being a Knicks fan. You just lose your sanity. This dude Nando Ferrari made All NBA first team. And why are we the first seed? Why? Can we please just rebuild? Like can we please do that instead of just being the most unpredictable team of all time? Someone having three players score over 20 a game. Four players really. We got Boston in the first round. They suck. Well they got Carlisle. I don't know the last time I saw a gentleman sweep. It, but it's been it's been a long ass time now we gotta play the bulls okay this team is actually terrible i feel like we deserve the sweep amir like this th that felt good that felt deserving and now we have our arch rivals the magic who also suck but they beat us in seven last year and we're gonna beat them in five and we're actually going to the finals with this whack ass team somehow having four players score over 20 a game and we're back playing he's he's won mvp like 20 times i swear to god he's he's won that many all right well here we go game one they take game two they take game three us game four them and we're going out in five games. I just, we, we, we can't even just get a shitty championship. Like at this point, I will take a watered down champion. Can this dude Todd Carr retire? This dude's 26 years old. This man's going to dominate the league for the next decade. This team's somehow going to be a top three seed just because of 2K. This isn't even the craziest thing right here, him making first team. I can't even put this stuff in the words. I don't even know what to say about this. We got three players dropping over 18 a game, and then it, just, it is a hard fall off after that. We got our arch rivals in the first round. We're going to get them with a sweep here. Nice. Okay. Then we got Philly, who's got a 91 on the team, which is pretty rare in 2040. Seven. And we're going to take them down in six. They make kind of a little bit of a comeback there, but we won by 15. If I close my eyes and you ask me to name three players on this team right now, I couldn't even do it. Now we got to play the number one seed, Hawks, who have two 90s in this era. That's insane. And if we can beat this team in six, we should take down the stupid Warriors and Todd Carr, arch rival of the Knicks. Here we go, man. The live watch. Game one, they take. Game two, they take. Game three. I'm. I, I, I just. I, I can't. Okay, we got that game. We're going to get the next one. No, we don't, dude. I. I. Ah! I hate Todd Carr. Car. I oh I hate him 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 this man Todd Carr is wasting so many good years for the Knicks like yeah so many because this team is so good in case you want to see Todd Carr's dominance yeah here you go and the Knicks are the second seed it doesn't matter what we do we're just gonna lose to Todd Carr I just said it, it, it's like we're in the 90s playing against Michael Jordan we're gonna gentlemen sweep the Raptors here in the first round and we're gonna play the Hawks who have two 90s I don't get how we gentlemen sweep two 90s but then we can't beat 190 in, in Todd Carr and now we gotta play Philly who has 190 and we are going back to the finals and I have a amazing news. Todd Carr is finally not in the playoffs. They got swept in the first round to Houston. So now we gotta play the Timberwolves. Okay, their best player is an 82. I swear to God, if we lose this series and I don't get the hell off this video. Come on, here we go. Game one, they take. Game two, they take. Game three. Well, here we go, man. Just, yep, take the sweep, bro. Just take the fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm never gonna leave. I'm never gonna leave. I'm not gonna being a Knicks fan is actually torture. And Nando Ferrari just retired, bro. That was our one good player. I apologize for this video being so long. Like, it's really not my fault. I don't even know who Doyle Paul is, but he's making all NBA first team. And we're a respectable fifth seed. Why the hell is Doyle Paul dropping 28 points a game? Like, you're an 81 overall. You have no business doing that. And we're gonna win here in six, hopefully. Yep, there we go. And we gotta play Miami, who suck. I mean, I guess we suck even more now. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go to game seven. We're gonna win it. No, we're not. A Mavs Heat Finals. Nice little throwback there. Mavs win the championship. I was procrastinating recording this video and i'm finally finding out why todd carr took his talents to san antonio and we're the third seed we have two 27 point per game scores and i i just don't know what that means we're gonna win the first round in a gentleman's sweep then we got the pacers who have a 94 overall at this point and a 96 okay we're gonna lose this yeah we're about to get swept yeah that's nasty bro you should not be able to have a 94 and a 96 on the same team in, at this point why is zion williamson jr 30 years old oh look at zion williamson jr making all nba third team and we are the sixth seed and now zion's dropping 26 a game 
for us. We're about to lose here in six. Oh no, it's gonna go to game seven. We're gonna win it. No, of course not. This channel is supposed to be just fun, quick videos, and like this is just I I'm getting blown. And now we're the third seed. So gotta play Atlanta again. Like we just get a new player every year to drop 26 and a half, and then just lose to Atlanta in six. Yeah, this is this is so much fun. Do you guys want like an analysis on Judd Patrick or Lee Law? Like, is it, like what am I supposed to even say here? And now we're the second seed. We're just somehow getting better. Oh, we don't have someone dropping 26. We got two players dropping over 20 though, and we got one guy dropping 15. We're gonna take down the Bulls in the first round with a sweep. Now we gotta play Miami, who has a 93, and we're just barely gonna get by there in seven games. Now we got Toronto in the conference finals. They got an 88, and we're gonna lose in seven. There you go, nice. This dude Andre Fields dropped 37 and 22 on us. Like we can't just tank one year because we somehow keep winning 50 games a year with this whack ass team. We got the six seed spot, and I've been recording for three hours, and we're about to get gentlemen swept right there. This is, I, I, I just, I don't even know what else to say, y'all. I feel like my brain's on autopilot. Like that's how I feel. I think Brian Mullins has some, some good upside this year. Is that, is that enough analysis for you guys? Now we're the fourth seed. I guess my analysis was wrong. They only averaged nine points a game. Coming down to a game seven here, we're gonna win it. Oh wow, we actually do. Now we're gonna play our arch rival was the magic oh they got jeffrey thorpe who's a 98 and we're gonna gentlemen sweep him or no we're not okay we're gonna go to six here is that we're gonna yeah we're gonna go to six so like i just don't understand if we can beat a 98 overall with this whack-ass team why can't we win a championship and after like a decade we are going back to the finals oh here's mullins he had six points so yeah he's been doing uh he's been doing good all right well we got the thunder in the finals they have i mean they're, they're okay this could be our real moment of truth game one us game two us game three them game four us please end this night nonsense madison with the uh, what the hell is that shot are we serious coleman with the ball i don't know if he's just really tall the guy that's going up against some really short conley for three that was a slow ass jumper please get the rebound please get the please get the rebound we're gonna double team for no reason wide open teague for three and he drills it madison going to work again i don't know why this is just our go-to guy brian for three that's definitely gonna be missing we're gonna blow this game aren't we hickson trying to drive to the basket gets the yeah we're gonna lose this brian gonna use the screen you're gonna fade away from three that's a great shot, bro. Yeah, like, uh, we'll, we'll just go to game six. That, that's what we'll go ahead and do. Come on, this gotta be the game. Madison trying to go to work here. Spin move, trying to drive. Like, what Like, what are we doing? Hickson, fade away three. Are you fuck? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Madison, drive. I just... Oh, okay. All right, bro. All right, we'll see you on game seven, bro. We got one more chance at this. Hickson trying to drive, giving it to Justice. Justice, give it down the post to Coleman. Oh, my God. Thank God. Rebound, please. Stark's gonna try to drive. He gets fouled. Oh, I wanted the end one. Make the second one, man. I want to be done. I want to go home. Oh, my God. He missed the second one. It's gonna come down the one sh <laughs> shot. It's gonna come down the one shot. Okay, they're doing nothing. Okay, I, I I'm getting bailed. I got bailed out from the CPU. I got bailed out. I'll take it, though. I got, I got Hall of Fame bailed out right there is that the coach the first female head coach yeah, hey listen hey, man, I, I can clap for that i didn't even know we had a female head coach is that starks i think that's starks congrats man wait why do we have two number 13s wait what the, what the did you guys see that or am i tweaking well after 35 years we finally got to this screen goodbye